Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today we have the second video to building, assembling the old pub, the old tavern from the company Shegao or Lele. Model number is QL0924. That's around $100 and around 4,000 parts or pieces. That's a really good price. There are two links in the video description. One to the shop where I bought the set here. There you can buy it. And the other link goes to Brickative, where you can buy the original instructions, because Lele don't give the designer any money or credit. So if you want to get the credit or your credits, your kudos and your money to the original designer, then you can buy the instructions from the link in the video description. It is $23. Okay, part one, the building steps one, two, three brought us so far and it's an amazing detailed and made with love modular building really some strange building techniques but overall everything is stable everything is fine the only thing I don't like you see the doors are all flattering around if you move it a little bit all the doors are gonna open and close but it's so detailed. We have here a nice detailed pub. Just watch part one if you haven't. Then you see a really nice pub. This is only a walkthrough. And in there is a, a spinning stair. I don't know what's it called. Here we have an entrance too. So, you know, the stairs go in circles, that's inside here. And here we have a room full of rubbish, trash, an old piano, a stool, some newspapers, some plywood. A lot of things. So, okay. The quality of the parts here from Jigao Lele is brilliant. No problems at all. Only the doors. The rest is is cool. No scratch, one scratcher on one window. The rest is not not too much scratch, no problems. The clutch power of the bricks and pieces is amazingly good. It's so detailed and made with love inside and outside. You see it's really a lot of details and nice. Yeah, that just looks awesome. Okay. The instructions are good too, no problem at all. Sometimes a little bit of colors. Dark medium flesh and dark orange and, and dark tan sometimes don't match exactly the real, real life. But uh, I made it so far without any problems. So you will too. Okay, let's build building steps 4, 5 and 6. 4 is laying ahead of me. So surprise, surprise. Building step 4 starts with the roof of floor 1 or the bottom of floor 2. <laughs> and I'm really happy that they choose use a layer of bricks or a layer of plates, then bricks and then plates again over it. So this will be a really solid construction at the end. At the moment here it's a little bit flimsy, but at the end this will be a really solid construction. I prefer this way to build in the parts in between the floors, the roofs and the bottoms, the ground, because you have five blade thickness, a blade, a brick, a blade, that's really solid and nothing pops up at the, at the corners. Often when you only use blades, sometimes at the corner it's a little bit bent and you don't get it straight onto your floor. With a plate brick blade construction it's plain and that's, that's nice, I love this. This here is the roof for the pub and as you see here swing by, we have three lamps hanging from the, from the ceiling. So. That's cool. They done. It's really well designed. 
building here from Brigative. I love this way for the ceiling or the ground. After a few more blades, bricks, tiles and so on, wedge blades, we got a very stable ceiling roof. In between wall, huh? it says a good term in between wall, and it has to be looked so as here. So, this is the upper floor of our trash room here, and there we have a lot of colors and strange building techniques that looks like the building is falling apart here at the corner. The same here. And that is the same look we get here on the ceiling too. The floor seems to be quite trashy. This is from the pub. And here we have a lot of hinges for decoration purposes, I believe. Here we have the spinning stairs, wheelchair stairs. Oh, I, I google it. huh? Oh, I google it. Wendeltreppe auf Englisch? Spiral staircase. It's a spiral staircase. Okay. So, but this is a solid construction here. That looks good. Still love this building. So we tiled half of the floor here and now it's pretty solid. Here we have a nice detail with two of these big keys. We've built a toilet into the second floor trash room. Here on this tile, I don't know if you see it in the light, there are some sprinkles of dark bluish grey. So this is the first part or the first piece in the set with not good quality but the rest is pretty good so building step 4 is behind us and we're done here for the windows flowers the red masonry bricks like there the toilet you already seen here and not so in good shape wall. Another toilet. This here already sits. This is built this way here. But this here can't fit on the stud because there's a wedge plate coming. So it will be only held in place with a brick above. Done here some decoration, just big blades or long blades, 2 by 12, 2 by 8, 2 by 6. So, wall. It still has a lot of fun in it, really. You don't, uh, you're timeless. It's building very fast, forward, you don't have a feeling for time. Well, well made. So, we've got windows, more walls. Here the toilet is secure. The spiral staircase is growing. What I don't like is that this wall here will stand only on these five studs here. and must be secured from above, but okay. Same as the windows, they are tiled on top. So we stand only secure on the bottom studs. Not my favorite building techniques, but when it works, it's okay. Okay. Really a fun build. 
So the toilet has a door frame and more walls. Here is a cure. This is made from the little fences. Left and right. Looks cool. It's the same building technique as there. Here the walls have grown windows. Are there two more doors that don't stay where they should be. Here a sticker sign. And that's annoying. It's for men and women obviously. And when a woman wants to go here, she has to go to the room with the pissoirs for the man. That's not nice. That's really not nice. Okay. The building techniques are mostly different as from Lego. But everything is fine. Really, there's a lot of time in this set from the creator. So, not much, but some windows here and here this unique building technique. It's the vertical building and you just click it here in and to the seas, the modified blades. That's a clever technique, but you have it doesn't look very good. Here it's much better. More cleaner look. And the other strange building technique is the window on the rear. They just don't look good with the studs here. There are too many gaps. I don't like that. But it is what it is. And later on this building will sh shown in this way. And so you don't see this too good here. And that is against the wall. You don't see it at all. So it doesn't bother me too much. Oh man, the first time I criticized the designer and in the next building step he covers this thing I don't like, how it's clicked in here and now it looks just awesome. Oh man, sorry designer, bad mistake. Say something bad at the end if there is something, that's great looks really cool. Sorry. So we secured this area here with bricks, the doors, so everything's fine there. What I want to show you is here the building technique. We've got four brackets and the brackets are secured here with a 1x8 tile. Then a layer of 2x4 olive blades and then two tiles again and that makes a really cool looking window nice building technique again it's it's really an enjoyable build that's a little bit strange here yeah. brown window half covering the white window but okay nice 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 Oh, this is a clever window, really. Not only here, this technique. You got the bricks modified, laying on top here, vertical. Then we have the blades modified, here the hinges. And on the hinge later I will, some, will be attached some decoration. But wow, that's clever. Same as there. That's really clever. And what else is cool? This stool. Here on the side is a panel. A 1x2x1. One by by one. And on the other side a 1x1 one one panel. And in the last corner is a brick with pinhole. And in this shelf here, in this brown, there is a, just like that, a modified brick. And it's clicked in here in this modified brick with pinhole, and so you have this angle of the stool without falling. That's cool. Nice, clever 
so much cool details. It's incredible. Uh, here we have a flimsy building technique paired with the first piece that's not so good. This only here the tan type. The stud on top is not so big as it should be, and so the blades on top are not holding very well. Now here it goes, but with the white blades here it's easily fall off. So you make a tower of these modified bricks and then you're clicking on always on one stud only the slopes here and it's a little bit flimsy but when you bring on the windows uh, so then it's a little bit countered you have a counterpart countered 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 so we bring in here the last row with bricks on with start on side cover it again with six slopes and then we have a yeah, looks nice really looks nice here we have covered and secured we have two by four bricks the windows here so that's fine Ah, building step, building step 5 is done. I'm wondering how they will cover here these holes from the modified brick with the wall. We're using panels or plates, tiles, I don't know. We will see. This structure here, I don't know the English term for a, a little tower in the corner. But it's looking really cool. This has the same building technique with the hinge outside as here. I wonder what we will click in there or nothing. Perhaps it stays so, I don't know. Everything is solid and secured now. Uh, here we will have two big walls. They are just standing on, oh, three big walls like there in the first floor, where we bring in panels and secure it only correctly from above. Okay, here we have nine studs out of eleven. Okay, so next to six, I'm so excited. This is really enjoyable, really enjoyable. So the designer. Every part he does here, or did here, was really well thought through. No unnecessary things. Everything makes sense. So this here will be covered like outside from the inside too. And we put here a layer and here a layer over the windows. And they are designed in this way. With a lot of modified bricks, with studs on side to get this unique look, and this will be placed in here somehow. Come on, man! It refuses. Okay. I need both arms. So like here we have a totally clean look with the cool building technique, the same here. A total clean look. Perfect. Cool building techniques. We will cover the same as outside on the inside and then this room has a, a really clean look. Tiles on the floor, tiles on the walls, the same here. 
got this wall and these are the windows made with the small fences like we have there or here in the red window and another layer of bricks over here to secure everything so this is pretty awesome oh, a lot of progress here the staircase spiral staircase here modified bricks and underneath is the modified blade I see here yes slopes same here modified blade then here building technique yeah. bring it so in this these are the hinges and modified blades nicely covered the windows here slightly with tiles it's a really nice room same technique here also the hinges and the modified blades and I believe I did something wrong there I'm not sure I have to check again if these should really sit here I don't think so I have to check again so building step 7 is finished I have a lot of pieces here over but this is uh, 6 is finished this is all ready from 7 ok we got here more impressions of a destroyed or getting destroyed wall it's beginning to fall apart you see here nicely and overall this building techniques in the walls here the three walls amazing with covering all the studs on side with the tiles this is an amazing looking room and I'm okay I don't know what here will be it's a dance room or something we will see so here are we at the end of part two of assembling here the old tavern from Brigative Mock Zegao offers the set and the instructions but buy the buy the instructions from Brigative these twenty dollars it's absolutely worth I now go upstairs rendering here this video and buy the instructions because this is an amazing experience and really good set so if it's a hundred or a hundred and twenty dollars for over four thousand parts in this building experience and fun so it's absolutely worth the money this was a nice part we see us in part three when we assemble the last two building steps seven and eight and do the review of this set with my final thoughts but I'm pretty sure they won't change this is a cool set okay thank you for watching I'm Frank from the Brick Freaks have a good time bye bye